was pretty drunk when he left the party. I'm not sure what he'd been drinking, but I'd never seen him in that sort of state before. Oh, it was nice to see him enjoying himself. That boy can cut some shapes. Little talent he's been hiding, I'll tell you. Not sure if we get to see that again, though. Why would you do that? Have you any idea how hard these past few weeks have been? I've known the kid since I was like two. It hurts. There's this, there's this pain in my chest and it won't go away. He was a dopey kid, alright, but... A dopey kid, he was my best friend. He's practically my brother. I mean, he may as well have been. His mum was more of a mum to me than mine ever was. All this is killing us. It's killing me. You never think these things will happen to anyone you know, do you? I mean, I don't know him too well, to be honest. We had mutual friends, and I've seen what this has done to them. School's been tough lately, I mean, it's not every day someone goes missing, is it? Exams are coming up, and no one seems to care. Not even the teachers. Look, it's been a couple of weeks now, and I've read enough of these stories knowing that the outcome doesn't look too great after 48 hours. It's what everyone's thinking, just no one wants to say it. I mean, we had a thing, if you could even call it that. Well, he didn't know what he wanted. At the start, it was amazing. We'd talk all the time and we'd FaceTime every night. But then... Nothing. I'd get a hay every now and again, but... That was about it. He changed. I don't know what was going on. I tried talking to him, tried to get him to open up, but nothing. He wouldn't talk. I mean, you can't help someone if they can't help themselves, right? The party was fun. It was like having the old Alex back for the night. He really let loose and we were having a right laugh. I thought this was it and things were finally looking up. He even walked me to the end of my street. I never expected to wake up and find out he didn't go home. The party was amazing. Exams were coming up and everyone wanted to have a bit of fun before everything became all serious and boring. It was annoying though. I wanted to dye my hair before the party. Bored of being blonde but it arrived after. Anyway. We were together most of the night. He left with Hannah though, though everyone knows those two get along like a house on fire. We were close, we all were. Nobody understands though. Everyone at the party thinks they know what we're going through, but they don't. Look, not to sound rude, but why are you wasting your time sat here talking to me when you could be out there looking for him? I know as much as you do. He was at the party and he, he never made it home. If I knew anything else, I would have said weeks ago. Alex didn't really leave town. He's always been a home bird. It's just him and his mum, so he likes to be around to look after her. He's definitely a mummy's boy and she spoils him rotten. He wouldn't just up and leave like everyone is saying. That's, that's just not him. Yeah, this weird thing with Layla, I mean, I know everyone thought him and Hannah were together, or whatever the hell was going on there. But I ever heard Layla telling one of the other girls at the party. It was all girl talk, so I didn't really listen to the whole thing. It was just none of my business. I saw him when I was walking home. He was walking the other way, though. Not the way I would have expected him to go home. It would have taken him about an hour and a half to walk that way. And he looked like he was going to meet someone and he was in a rush. Besides, I, I know it's wrong, but he's a guy. I wasn't worried. He can look out for himself. You know, I could have helped him. He called me out around 2am one night. He said he was being followed, but I just thought he was drunk again. I... Uh, I uh, just went back to bed because... I thought he was messing with me. 
he often did things like that. You know, he said he thought he was being followed, and I told you that, so why are you only taking it seriously now? I know he wouldn't have just gone off. He didn't want anyone to know, but about a month or so ago, he said he thought he was being followed home from school. He was always there late for clubs and stuff. He didn't tell me much more because he knew I'd worry. But I'm pretty sure he would have spoken to Archie. You should ask him about it all. Oh yeah. He told me he thought he was being followed by someone. I told him he was just imagining it. I mean, who would have any reason to follow him? He didn't know who it was. Every now and again he said that he'd seen her at the corner of his eye. He hadn't mentioned it for a while though. So I thought it was just an overactive imagination. Plus, exams are coming up. Isn't it a well-known thing that people can start imagining things when they're under loads of pressure? Her? He thought he was being followed by a girl? Well, that explains why I didn't want anyone to know, doesn't it? Actually, wait, there was one girl. Lara. No, no wait, Layla. She was clingy. Any time he'd be on his own, she'd be there. She'd try and join in with our conversations, and at the party, I got told that someone was with Alex. It, it must have been her. I saw one of the posters and realised that I saw him walking home with someone late that night. He was with a girl, around the same age. He was a little way in front of her. It looked like he was in a rush, so did she. I thought they might have had an argument or something. He stormed off, and she'd followed him. They were both stumbling around, a bit drunk maybe. The girl tripped over, and he turned around. He started shouting at her. I couldn't really hear what they were saying. I was listening to music, and it's none of my business to listen, so I kept my headphones in. It looked like they were having a proper argument, though. It was definitely the girl on the poster, and the girl. She was blonde. Oh, and she was wearing a camouflage hat, if that helps. I remember because my brother wanted the exact same one for his birthday. Look, I've been here for ages. I've told you everything I know. He, he was, he, he is my best friend. If you know anything more about him, tell me. Can I, can I just go now?